so I, I walked around it. I'm now getting familiar with it. I walked around the perimeter like three times because the line just wraps around and around. I can't even figure out where the end of it is. But I do know that the first people in line got here at nine o'clock at night behind the building. There's actually a group of kids who are playing cards. There are sleeping bags, camping chairs, uh, coolers, you name it. People have come prepared. They've been here for hours and hours. Some of them tried to come yesterday, waited in line for 10 hours and then were turned away and had to go home in part because a lot of the DMV offices closed at 3.30 instead of 4.30. So now they are back even earlier today trying to get a chance to get in when this opens at 8 o'clock. And a lot of them are 17 year olds who are really, really just trying to get their first licenses. Got here at 3 a.m. this morning and we really felt like we had to come because we were here at 7 yesterday, 6.50 actually. And we're here for 12 hours, basically till 4.30. Well, then they closed really at 3.30 and didn't get seen, didn't get credit for being there all day. So now we tried to come at 3 a.m. to see if we'd still get a better spot and we still have to wait this ridiculously long line. Yeah, one of the complaints was those agencies closing at 3.30 instead of 4.30. In response, the MVC told us Quote, in some locations, the lines outside violated the governor's executive orders and local law enforcement dispersed the crowd. In other locations, the lines were capped based on the agency's capacity and customers sent home. Uh, so again, some people have been in line since nine o'clock last night, now going on nine hours, have not been sleeping, taking turns sleeping. If they have a second person here, somebody's sleeping in the car, somebody's waiting in line. So it is just a situation where you really have to have a lot of patience if you want to get that license or that registration when the doors open at 8 a.m. Live this morning outside the MVC in Lodi, New Jersey, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News. Hey, what's camping out overnight if you've been waiting for, what, three months plus to get your license? Okay, thank you, Katie.